that, and we cast no votes for communist Hillary. United in its distrust of the Democrats and Republicans, the Constitution Party's state delegates choose its presidential nominee. In the end, it wasn't even and, uh, close. I'm happy to announce that we have a winner in the first round, Daryl Castle, with 184 votes. This small right-wing Christian party is under no illusions that it will take the White House. However, there's an awareness that this year, the bitter Republican presidential campaign offers an opportunity. There are ways to win without really winning. Those who have long studied the American right wing note how many of the Constitution Party's beliefs, such as a total ban on abortion, cutting immigration, and abolishing the social safety net, are now part of the Republican Party platform. The Republican Party has become so extreme that it sounds a lot like the Constitution Party. And that gives the Constitution Party an opportunity to make a breakthrough in this election cycle as it picks up disaffected Republican voters. For its presidential nominee, a key issue this year will be foreign policy. Uh, many of the things that we've done, especially across the Middle East, causes the very problems that, uh, that we're trying to fight. It certainly uh, spurs the migration that you're seeing into Europe and into uh, the United States as well. Uh, how could these people not leave? Maybe we should stop fighting, uh, and, and that would solve uh, two problems at the same time. It's a fascinating insight into what's on the minds of those on the extremes of U.S. right-wing politics, and it will be interesting to see whether these positions also seep in to the Republican Party mainstream. Shea Al Jazeera, Salt Lake City, Utah.